Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag, everybody. My name's Clint, and I am excited. We've got another one-take bag review today, and we're checking out one more. We've been on a bit of a mystery ranch run lately, so I promise I'll, I'll tone it down just a hair, but it's a great bag maker, and they've got a ton of bags in their lineup that are super interesting, including the... Oh, look at it. Look at it. That's a sexy bag. The Mystery Ranch Two Day Assault Pack. Now this version, this colorway, is my favorite colorway of this bag, and it is the Huckberry Collaboration eh? in the Desert Tracks colorway. I mean, that is a gorgeous bag. Oh, she's unbuckled. Hold on. Let me give you the full look-see here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so. You know what we do on this channel, everybody. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? We're gonna do a straight shot video all the way through. You're going to get, well, two things. You're gonna get the interior walkthrough. That's gonna be in camera number two. We're gonna get into all the pockets. I'll show you every single corner of this bag. We're gonna talk about the exterior walkthrough as well. And then after that, you'll get, as always, two things that I love about the bag two things that I think could be better, and then an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? All right, let's talk about this thing. First off, the exterior walkthrough, it's gonna take a minute on this bag. Like, it has a lot going on. And I think the first thing I've gotta call out is, I love this Desert Tracks camo. Like, that is a cool pattern. And then with the Coyote hardware and the black buckles and the the shiny aqua guard zippers like this is a gorgeous looking bag that looks as good in person as it does on the website which is a rarity in this day and age right so and you can see by the way the bag is standing on its own um, kind of depends how you load it out but the back harness and um, back panel and system don't preclude the bag standing on its own when you have it loaded so that's a good thing right off the bat Okay, so uh, I guess the first thing I can say is you've got a bit of strap dangle going on, right? And you've got um, these compression straps that are, you know, a big part of the look and feel of the bag. You've got a vertical black stripe that runs next to the AquaGuard zipper. And this is, I think we can say, um, you know, this bag and most Mystery Ranch bags, not all, but most, are defined by the tri-zip. And if you love the tri-zip, then you're probably going to dig this bag. And if the tri-zip is frustrating to you at all, you probably won't. Now, I've, I've been through this once before, but I do want to, in case this is the only video you're watching on the channel, which, I mean, come on, come on, sub up, everybody. Um, the tri-zip is designed for two bits of functionality. The first bit of functionality, and we'll do this together in camera number two, is to only unzip this top zipper, this zipper and this zipper, and you can kind of rip a little bit and rip that top section open. A little tougher with the AquaGuard zippers, but that gives you a top loader backpack, the classic top loader backpack that has a big internal cavity. But then you also have the option of zipping down the middle here, and that gives you kind of a duffel style opening. You can open all of it up, kind of tri-fold, top up, wings open, or you can just open the wings for a duffel style, or you can open just the top, for a top, top loading classic backpack style. All right, so I, I think that is it with the zippers, but I do want to say there are a million attachment points on this bag, like it is covered in molly, like on the side, on the front, on this side. Yeah, and then you've got some PAL loops on the back, just a few. You've got load lifters, functional, beautiful load lifters. And this is the Futura harness in large, extra large. You can get small, medium. This one's large, extra large, because I'm a large, extra large kind of guy. Uh, but this is a very, very good yoke and strap system. Um, and it is adjustable. The entire thing is kind of hooked in here um, with Velcro under this panel. And you can, and it's a little difficult, but you can break that Velcro seal and then lift the whole thing and adjust it height-wise on your back. Um, the straps are fairly well folded, excuse me, fairly well padded, uh, and then you do have a nice sternum strap here that is adjustable to different sections on the bag. So really nice, and then 
You've got little Mystery Ranch branding here, and then all of your buckles are hard plastic, but they're all in this kind of dark coyote color, which is really, really nice. So overall, gorgeous looking bag, a lot going on on the exterior. Um, you've got a small hook and loop panel up top here. You've got a hook and loop panel right here. Okay, this is the Huckberry and Mystery Ranch logo that came with it. So two different sections for you to customize in terms of hook and loop for not attachments, but for morale patches. All right, everywhere there's a zipper, you've got a coyote pull to pull against, and you've got a grab handle up top. Okay, I think that's it on the exterior. Would you please join me in camera number two, and let's look at all the pockets on this thing because there are a lot of pockets on this thing. Let's do it. All right, as promised, here we are. We are in camera number two, and we are checking out this beautiful two-day assault pack. This is a 27-liter bag, and the idea is that this will get you through two days worth of adventuring with no problem. Do love how this bag looks. Love that look, and we can kind of stretch out these a little bit, give it a little bit more flexi-flexi. But those, are the compression straps. These ones stretch all the way to the sides. These ones just tighten up on the inside of these water bottle pockets. And let's, I guess, look at these water bottle pockets. They are massive. So this is a pretty giant canteen here. And you can see that there's still a ton of space. And it swallows up this whole thing. So no matter what type of water bottle you carry, this pocket is going to swallow it up with no problem. So pretty, pretty beautiful. And it's got this little gusset down here at the bottom to let any moisture out if your drink is a sweaty drink. All right, I think uh, pocket wise, we should probably start at the top. So we'll flip this bag up. You've got two pockets on top here. The first one right here, AquaGuard zippers. Just all the zippers are AquaGuard here. And this is a nice little, there's my blue light blocking glasses, wallet. But this is a nice little EDC pocket up top here, lined with more desert tracks. And it's got pulls on both sides. So all in all, a nice little quick access pocket. Nothing too special, but functional and just fine. You can see these zipper pulls are in a paracord with a little knot at the end here. We open the second quick access pocket, two quick access pockets, two bottle pockets, two everything. Mesh on the bottom. And this one is much bigger. So this one runs the whole length of the top of the bag, the whole size of the top of the bag. I put a cord in there, a knife in there. What else do I have in here? My AirPods, my Colonel Ichabod mustache comb. Anything else? Anything else in here? Yeah, a polka pen. All right, so this thing is absolutely massive. Big quick access pocket, really, really nice. Okay, wanted to show you one other interesting exterior feature on this bag. See right here, you have actually a side access to the laptop compartment. Pretty nice, right? So it's not an exterior laptop compartment. It is the laptop compartment from the interior, but it might as well be the exterior with that side access. That's very, very nice. Yeah, a really nice touch there. All right, time for us to open up the top loader section here. And you can see that's the inside of the quick access pocket here. So it, it really is just the whole entire lid of the bucket, if you will, um, is a pocket. Okay. And if you wanted to just open up the bag that way, here's what your view would be. Okay. You would have access to your laptop. You would have access to your tablet. You would have access to the main entire section here, including your pockets, which are up top intentionally so that you can access them from this top pocket. And then you've got two little umbrella style pockets. So let's open this thing up and get a closer look at all those pockets. And this is the duffel style zip on the front of the bag. We'll open it up. Yeah, there you go. All right, what is this thing? 
So this is sold separately, but it was part of the collaboration. This is just a DOP kit. I think it's really, really neat. It doesn't come with all Mystery Ranch two-day assault packs because there's a lot of different versions and colorways of the bag out there. But I thought I'd show you this in case you were curious. This, uh, and you open it up and you say, huh, why is that zipper that way? It's that way because this is designed to be hung as a toiletry bag. So this is a DOP kit. And up top here, you've got a little stretchy mesh pocket times three. And then you've got little looping here for you to stick your toothbrush, etc., cetera, razor, toothbrush, et cetera. And then you have a mesh pocket here and you have a mesh pocket here. Really, really functional, really nice. And then check out this, uh-oh, you open this one up too, and you have a repeat of the same exact thing from the top. So two pockets zipped together with a little hooky hook so you can hook it in the bathroom at your travel destination or inside your tent or what have you, inside the cab of your truck, whatever you're doing. So a really useful dop kit. I think that was about $55, and I think this is this bag was about $250 uh, in the collaboration edition. You can find two-day assault packs cheaper than that, though. All right, I've also put down in here a sweater, and you can see kind of how big this space is in here. You got a little bit of branding, but inside here, iPad and laptop. All right, up top here, you've got a zippered pocket. Again, these are not down low in this bag so that you can access them easily from the top without ripping open the entire bag every time you wanna access things. And I've got my laptop cord and charger here. And then on this side, I've got a little time waster gaming device. All right, so obviously you can see that there is a ton of space in this bag. These pockets right here that I mentioned, they run deep. And so you could put an umbrella or a gimbal or a tripod or water bottles, um, drinks, snacks, whatever, in these little subdivided pockets here on the inside of the wings. All right, meet me back at camera number one. It's time for two and two. All right, let's talk about the Mystery Ranch Two Day Assault Pack a classic bag, a wonderful, wonderful bag. And that's tipping my hat, right? I really enjoy this bag. And if what you're looking for is an adventure bag, pretty damn good. Pardon my French. Huckberry also has a new Mystery Ranch collab um, that's on their site. So if you go to Huckberry and click Mystery Ranch, and I'll, I'll drop this one in the, the um, video description as well. But there's a new one that's also a pretty sweet adventure bag. So check that one out too if you haven't already. Um, so what do I like about this bag? I'm gonna give you two things that I really, really enjoy. Well, it's the two and two for the two things. The first thing, two quick access pockets and they're both really effective, really useful. Top quick access for just a couple of small items that I'm gonna use all the time, don't wanna fish around for. And then the secondary quick access pocket on the underside right here. I mean, it's gigantic, but it means it's kinda of like a little sling, right? You don't have to carry everything inside the bag. You can put a big chunk of stuff on the outside of the bag that you can access. And if you wanted to kind of go all the way with that philosophy, put your overnight stuff in the bag and your might need it right now stuff on the outside of the bag, you can even attach some extra pockets and pouches to the Molly uh, on the outside of the bag, which is a really neat way to travel and or adventure and hike, because I think this is also a really effective long distance hiking bag, not Appalachian Trail long distance, but overnight. Um, the second thing that I mentioned that I really like, I could go with the harness system because honestly, y'all, that is a great harness system. I'll wear this bag at the end of the video, but I just want to call out these water bottle pockets. They are highly effective. I mean, they are pouchy. They blossom out from the side of the bag. They're just really, really useful water bottle pockets. And they don't fuss around with trying to make the water bottle pockets disappear against the side of the bag. No magnets, nothing like that. They 
They do have a little bit of stretch, so they kind of naturally clamp down, but they're there, you can see them, and they've just incorporated them into the design. Overall, a really, really useful water bottle pocket, one on each side. You're not gonna find yourself really, I, I can't think of a water bottle I've ever owned that wouldn't fit in those bottle pockets. They're massive, they're massive, like super, super huge. Okay, two things that I think could be better about this bag. Well, the first thing that I think could be better about this bag is the laptop compartment. And this is just my use case. Hello everybody. This is just my use case, okay? I mainly use my bags as a tech carry, so I would prefer an actually separated padded laptop compartment with this exterior access. So they've given us the exterior access to the side compartment. That's not bad, it's not bad, um, but I'd like it to be completely separate. That's just a personal preference of mine. It's not, you know, something that everybody wants. And for this bag, as versatile as this bag is, that laptop compartment also functions as a hydration bladder hanger. There's all the hookups and everything you would need for that. And so, you know, it would be good for me, but probably not the right call to do an exterior laptop compartment. So I think they probably made the right call, but doesn't land for my preference and use case. The second thing that just bugs me about these triceps, the triceps, by the way, I like, but when you make these bags, in AquaGuard, you lose the kind of rippability of the bag. It's, it's not tough to open, but man, I'd love if you could just grab this little notch right here between the zippers and just, ah, it's just a little hard, a little hard. Now, over time, these zippers do loosen up a little bit, a little bit, but I wish for the main compartment of this bag, they didn't do AquaGuard, and they don't, good news, on every version of this bag. So you can find a bag in a two-day assault pack that doesn't have the AquaGuard, and that would be my recommendation, even though this colorway is completely, totally awesome. Now, can you buy this colorway? Well, it's sold out online on Huckberry's site, but you can get it used. You can look for bags like this secondhand on Poshmark in uh, Facebook foreign group, forum groups um, like uh, Carryologist Classified. Um, and you can buy bags like this at uh, theperfectbag.us as well, um, where I sell some of the bags that I review. So that all being said, who might this be the perfect bag for? I think this is a great adventure bag. So I think about the times I've taken my truck out west and gone camping. Um, this is the kind of bag that suits that environment so, so well. Toss jackets in it. It's only three pounds. It's massive, but it's only three pounds, which is really, really awesome for a bag this big. It's not ultra light, right? It's not made of Dyneema, but it's a useful bag that's super big, but super light, lots of attachment points, huge water bottle pockets. It'll fit a ton at 27 liters. Yeah, ultimately y'all, it's a great adventure bag. I think that's what this is. I think that's what it's always intended to be. That's the DNA of this bag. And if you're gonna get out there and you're gonna get after it adventure wise, whether that's camping, hiking, or whether your job puts you in the field for multiple days at a time, the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack, chef's kiss, great, durable, beast of a bag. If you're looking for an EDC bag, this ain't your thing. Go check out the Catalyst 26 liter. That one has just about the same volume, but it is more of an EDC focused bag and you will be happier with the layout and the organization and everything. All right, everybody, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time for me to slap this bad boy on, cue the music, Let's go.